Content creators, these creator-centric monitors are the tools of your trade and we require a monitor that shows accurate colors so that we can edit videos, edit pictures and all the colors should look natural or maybe just representative of what everyone will most probably see on their screens. So the ASUS PA27AC that we have here is a good monitor not just for content creation but for casual gaming as well. So let's talk about it here. This ASUS ProArt PA27AC is a 27-inch IPS LCD screen with 1440p in resolution and from what we've tested, it can go up to 75Hz even though its spec sheet only says 60Hz. Not too sure what's going on but hey, bonus refresh rate, right? And we'll start off by talking about content creation using this monitor first. What's crucial for content creators is of course, as mentioned earlier, color accuracy and the ASUS ProArt PA27AC has it all. It supports 100% sRGB color gamut and it boasts an accuracy of Delta E of less than 2 and with that, all of those colors are pre-calibrated out of the factory and it also has HDR10 support as well. So if you want to edit HDR videos, you can. And speaking from personal experience, while it's not advisable, I managed to eyeball the white balance of many of our videos by just looking at this monitor. So that goes to show that my usual work monitor is not really that color accurate compared to this. But over the months, the monitor's color will start to shift. This applies to every single monitor out there, which is why it is advisable for you to recalibrate the color of your monitor in about three months at most. So ASUS built in something called the ASUS ProArt Calibration Technology which has its own accompanying software as well. So you can just download it from ASUS website and then you can just use that built-in tool to calibrate your monitor's color. The color calibrator is not included in a package so you have to get it separately. But since we too do not have any color calibrators ourselves, we cannot test it and show you right here. But what we can show you here is actually the ports on this monitor. So at the back, we have triple HDMI ports one DisplayPort output, one Thunderbolt 3 for input and another Thunderbolt 3 for output. And then there's also a USB hub built into this monitor. So you've got double USB 3.0 Type-A ports and then another USB Type-C for downstream. This is actually very inclusive in terms of what kind of ports you want. And there's also another headphone jack for audio pass-through if you want to use this monitor as an audio output device. And there's also another service port at the bottom of this whole array of ports. And that service port is important for you to perform firmware updates for this monitor. Which I highly recommend you to do so because it improves Thunderbolt 3 support and also some other dimming performance and whatnot. And since I got this monitor, it was in version 1. Thunderbolt 3 did not work for display, so I updated it to the latest version, version 5. And then Thunderbolt 3 works on the laptop, so yay! Please do update your firmware on your monitor if you're getting this. And back to the Thunderbolt 3 ports, you can plug in an Ultrabook which has Thunderbolt 3 or Thunderbolt 4 ports to this monitor and then you can get both display and also charge your laptop at the same time. But if you've got more than just one ASUS ProArt PA27AC, you can daisy chain multiple of these monitors with just one single Thunderbolt 3 cable which is amazing and I can totally see people getting this monitor just for that purpose. But if you don't have enough desk space for those two monitors, you can actually remove your speaker because this monitor right here comes with double 2 watt speakers built in. It works, it's just that the speakers are more or less firing backwards. So good if you're mounting this monitor on the wall. Now, in terms of features, this monitor is actually a very sleek looking monitor which screams elegance. And the built-in monitor stand here is actually very versatile. It has both tilt, swivel, pivot in both directions, so clockwise and anti-clockwise, and also one of the smoothest height adjustment system that I found on a monitor. And I appreciate the fact that ASUS did not put their logo in front of the display itself. It's only on the monitor stand's base. So, if you're ever going to wall mount this monitor, 
you are not going to see the logo at all. It also has equal black bezels all around the edges of this monitor and the power LED is only a slightly small LED at the bottom right corner there, which you can also disable it in the OSD menu as well. Now, speaking of the OSD menu, I'll just briefly go through all of the settings here because it's pretty common to see all of those settings. Um, the one thing that I want to highlight here is the multiple different color profiles. So we have sRGB, Rec 709, which does have some difference in terms of yellowness compared to sRGB color profile. And other than that, the OSD menu is kind of common. There's also picture-in-picture -picture and picture-by-picture -picture function if you want to use it as well because this monitor has just a lot of display input ports. Now, at the end of the day, this monitor is still a tool of trade. So, for the price of 2,199 ringgit, I think it's surprisingly low price for what it offers because do keep in mind that this monitor does have a lot of built-in feature to help you maintain your color, show accurate color while accepting a lot of multiple different inputs. So if you've got a new console, PS5 or maybe Switch, you can just hook up everything into this monitor and you can play everything by just using one monitor because you can also plug in your headphone jack, your speaker port or whatever at the back of this monitor and just use HDMI output for your audio as well. And lastly, one reason why I say this monitor is considered low price is because of its long-term support via firmware updates. It's a function that we don't get to see on monitors most of the time, but it's a very important feature if you want your monitor to last as long as possible because firmware updates, like what I mentioned earlier, it will bring more support, more bug fixes, and also better performance. So yeah, the ASUS ProArt PA27AC is a fantastic monitor and just get a monitor arm for this beautiful display here because for some reason the gap between this, this cylinder shaft here and the monitor is kind of big. So yeah, that's all we have to say about the ASUS ProArt PA27AC. If you have any questions, do leave them down in the comment section below. We'll try to help you whenever we can and we'll see you in the next video.